YouTube and Twitch. Um, this week, as far as the reactions, what I realized is that they, um, it seems like different weeks, different people are more popular. You know what I'm saying? Jay, it'd be Jay Park one week. A lot of Jay Park requests. Then a lot of Little Peep. Then a lot of Sabrina. So this week, it's been a lot of Little Peep. It's been a lot of Sabrina Carpenter. You know what I mean? So next week, we don't know who it's going to be. You know what I mean? The, a couple weeks back, it was a lot of uh, Raz Simone. Um, so if anybody... You know, just to let you know, it's not... If you see I'm doing less of an artist, that doesn't mean I'm not going to come back. I do try to keep it mixed up, but a lot of times I go with um, the most requested. And like I said, this week it's just been a lot of Little Peep and a lot of Sabrina. Um, so next week we'll see. No, like I said, every week it changes. So let's get into it. You already know, we're going into uh, the Shadow Realm. The world of darkness, depression, and pain with Little Pete. Um, this song is Toxic City featuring uh, Drip 133. And of course, my cat decides to make noise. He loves fucking up my YouTube videos just to let y'all know. All the little Pete fans, I see what y'all did there. I've been challenging y'all to give me some happy little Pete. And y'all just give me the darkest shit y'all y'all could find. But it's okay. Because, I mean, clearly, damn. You know what the sad thing is, right? Now that I, I think about it and I listen to the music and everything, this guy clearly was miserable. You know what I'm saying? And that's the sad part. Like I say, he clearly was speaking through his music. And with the money and the fame and the millions of views and, the, you know, all that, he was not happy. You know what I mean? He talked about death a lot. He talked about depression a lot. He talked about um, suicide a lot. And like I said, when you're speaking through the music, somebody should have been able to see that and try to get this man some help. But sometimes you don't always have the right people around you. But let's keep listening. Oh, Yo, this is this all right though. I understand. I know it's about sadness and darkness and all that, but it actually got a nice flow. He actually had a nice little flow to it. And that one part is pretty dope. Actually, hold on, let me go back to that. That shit was alright.
All right, man. Oh, so what I'm saying, what I'm thinking is, I mean, the beat wasn't bad. Like I said, of course, I'm still waiting to hear some happy little peep. It hasn't happened yet, but it's okay. Um, it's ah man, like I said, it don't, and it's crazy because it seems like. When you listen to Lil Peep, clearly he's t telling you, like, he's ready to die. Like, he don't even care. Like, he's ready to meet his maker. He just said it. You know what I mean? It's not really, he made it seem like it wasn't even a big deal. Like, he honestly, if you hear, like, a lot of rappers, oh, man. Some rappers who passed away, if you listen to the music, it kind of sounds like they was already ready. Or, like, the stars was aligned, like, their mission was accomplished. You know what I'm saying? Even unfortunate with little, um, not little, uh, Nipsey Hussle. You know what I mean? The marathon. You know what I mean? Victory lap. Like, it was like, all right, I did my vic. Like, I'm done. I got my dub. I'm good now. You know what I'm saying? Open his businesses. You know what I mean? Distributed the work. Got it to people he needed to get it to. So it seems like a lot of times it happens. Even with Tupac, they used to say, like, he used to always talk about shit like that. Like, yo... If I go, you know what I mean? I'm good. Or, you know what I mean? It's just weird, man. It's just weird that a lot of these ra uh, rappers or artists, period, that pass away is almost kind of creepy because it seems like through the music they're prepared for it, almost. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's ever prepared for it, but it seems like they kind of just, all their ducks is in a row and everything is pretty much done. You know what I mean? So it's like, damn, if I die, I'm good. And next thing you know, they pass away, so... That's sad, but yeah, man, it's too bad that nobody could get Lil Peep some help because clearly he was talented. Imagine if he would have got some help and made some different type of music, maybe about love, maybe about being happy. Like I said, he he really reminds me of Kid Cudi, and I feel like that was the one thing. Like Kid Cudi's music, it was a lot of sadness and depression there, but at the same time, it was pursuit of happiness. You know what I mean? It was day and night. It was different joints that wasn't necessarily just about darkness. It was other joints too, you know what I mean? He had stuff about loving women or being in relationships and different type of stuff. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, more Little Pete is on the way. I already know I, I, Little Pete's fan base is serious, man. Y'all serious out there, man. But um, more Little Pete on the way. Drop your boy a sub. A subscription, man, is free. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Social media in the description down below. All right, peace out. Cheese.